Hi again everyone, welcome back. Uh, for this video, we'll be using StatCrunch to find uh, critical values for paired data and proportions. Okay, so first I'll go over a uh, paired data example. So don't be fooled because uh, this is a t-test and the way you would calculate the uh, critical value is as if you were doing the information with one sample, which technically you only have one sample, you just have two sets of data. Okay, so it's going to be a stat calculators t. Remember the alternative hypothesis tells you the direction and how many tails. So for this one, this is a one tail test and it's going to be a left tailed. Okay, so we'll make sure that the symbol matches. Okay, for this uh, for this problem here, I have 14 samples <coughs> or 14 uh, people in my sample. So I'm going to treat that as a one sample test. So remember, for one sample, the degree of freedom was n minus one. So I'll do 14 minus one. That'll give me 13 degrees of freedom. And because it's a one-tail test, I can put an alpha here. And then I'll hit compute, and there's my critical value. Okay, the other one I wanted to go over was uh, the proportions. How to get the critical value for proportions. Okay, so here's the example here. Okay, so <clears throat> based on my alternative hypothesis, it's going to be a one-tail test and it's right-tailed. Okay, so don't be fooled. Proportions will be using the normal calculator. Okay, we're getting a z-scores because proportions talk about the population. Okay, so that's on their stat. Calculator's normal. Okay, we said it's a one-tailed test, so we'll make sure we're in standard <clears throat> and we'll match up the symbol here. Okay, because we're getting z-scores, we want to leave this the mean as zero and the standard deviation at one and one tail test remember we can use alpha so i'll enter that here and hit compute and there's my critical value that's really the real, there is to it okay so if it was a two tail test you just hit between and uh, do a one minus alpha here uh, similar, similar, similarly for the T, um, critical T values as well. All right, and that's the end of this video. Thanks again for watching, and uh, check out my other StatCrunch videos.